my dear sisters and brothers in Christ Saint Mark presents some challenging passages to us in today's gospel reading He speaks of a rich man who asks Jesus how to inherit eternal life As a response to his question Jesus wants his listeners of the danger of riches good teacher what must i do to inherit eternal life it is a profound and meaningful question and it concerns the significance of human life this man is a practicing jew and wishes to have a life with god after his death all of us ask similar questions in different stages of our lives what is the meaning of my life what is my ultimate aim and how do i attain it this man believed that observance of the law guaranteed him a place next to god he was diligently observing the laws but still knew there was a vacuum somewhere and it needed to be filled to his question jesus proposes a radical way to free him from all the bondages to have a single minded attachment to god this life is concretely realized in his solidarity with the poor so jesus asks him to sell his property give to the poor and then follow him this proposal was hard for him to accept as he was a wealthy man given the options he chose wealth and failed to understand the real source of all wealth and life that is god he was condemned not because of his wealth but because of his belief that riches were a sign of god's favor his attachment to wealth was deeper and more important than his attachment to god our church history tells the story of countless saints who were inspired by the birth of jesus and opted for a life of radical poverty saint francis of assisi is such a saint whose feast we celebrated a few days ago He continues to challenge us to lead a simple life and imitate Christ in everything we do. Francis was the son of a wealthy merchant in Assisi. Yet he wore a filthy tunic, a robe as a belt and no shoes. while preaching he often would dance weep make animal sounds or play a musical instrument many people regarded him as mad or dangerous and eventually a living saint his life became the message as sometimes he walked around the streets of assisi without speaking a single word He took clothes from his father's store and gave them to the poor. When his father took him to the bishop, he gave up the clothes he was wearing and was forced to wear the clothes of the bishop clothes the bishop gave to cover his nakedness. In 1202, as a soldier He was in prison for a year when Assisi was defeated in the war against Perugia. He spent his time with the lepers, 
went through a conversion experience and began to rebuild an abandoned church in his town. Eventually, he was instrumental in rebuilding the ruined universal church of his time. Even in his own lifetime, his disciples were numbered in thousands. They renovated churches, tended to lepers, performed manual labor for farmers and artisans, preached and prayed. What Francis told his followers at his deathbed is relevant for all of us. I have done what was mine to do. May Christ teach you what is yours. Our model of spiritual life is not the rich man of the gospel, but Jesus and his countless disciples like Francis of Assisi. We should be transformed into beautiful spiritual figures to transform this world. Most often, earthly riches occupy and preoccupy our minds and hearts. Now let us start investing in the kingdom of heaven in order to inherit it at the end of our earthly life.